Hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub, sir, and welcome back to Nino Cooney 2. Now, I hope you don't have a fear of deep places because we're in the abyss. That sounded way cooler in my head, but it is true, we are in the abyss, a very deep section of the ocean, on the hunt for Queen Neria because I think she may have used us to get a certain item for her in order to do something dastardly. I don't think she's quite herself, but we've never known any other version of her. We're just going by what Leander's telling us. Um, so we need to find her and maybe fight her kingmaker. That's how I think things are going to go here. But at least we've learned how to use these puffing whelks, which are really fun. Because look, you get to surf the wave, man. Look at that. Getting right across now. So there's a bunch of enemies in here, as you may have expected. And loads of collectibles and loads of places to explore. I'm really just trying to find the best approach for all of this. I feel like I've just gone round in a circle. No, okay, so I think up there there could be a puffing whelk that we could activate to get our, our way back if we need it. Yeah, okay. It's better just to puff all the whelks you see. That's um, that's just a, a neat tip for all walks of life outside of Nino Kuni 2. You see a puffing whelk, uh, puff it, and good things will come. I heard I heard if you puff six whelks at once, then something amazing can happen. I don't know, I haven't been able to test it yet. But at least that's our way back sorted. No, oh, we can't go up there anyway, so it seems the path is actually, on further inspection, relatively clear. It's this way. There's a bunch of dudes there, we're going to feel the sharp end of our sword. Let's try it with that. Okay, didn't get as many as I'd like, but it's fine. We do have the follow-up attack. I'm all about crowd control, really, when I'm playing as Evan, which is, like, all the time. You can switch, uh, switch between characters. We have tried that before. I'm quite comfortable just staying as our boy king. Oh, there's another whelk there. Oh, so that's the way we have to go. Right, now if we do want to be rewarded for exploration, we can go around this bend. I really hope it's worth it. There's a level 37 Delphine there, and that one just jumped out of the way. Okay, this is fine, I think, because we'll do that. There we go. It was really important we landed that last hit on the 37, and we did. That was really easy. Look, you have these windows you can look out of. The abyss is, all in all, a pretty cool place to be. I could spend a while down here. I think it might be better than Hydropolis. Really, just more to do. You can't fight the citizens of Hydropolis. Yet, anyway. Well, what do we get for that? An all be gone. Nice. So when you just want some alone time to do with whatever you please, you just rub a bit of all be gone on you and everyone just disappears. It's a really handy tonic, especially for a, a teenage boy such as Evan. Or is he pre-pubescent? I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't get into that. Instead, let's just surf the water slide some more. Oh, we're going deep now. There we go. We were just tinkering around on the same level for the last couple of water slides. Now we've got some depth. This is giving me like subnautica urges. Wonder if we'll see like a um, like a leviathan, a reaper leviathan somewhere. That'd be terrifying, actually. I hope you don't see that. I'll do my best. And your best is always good enough, Evan. Especially when I'm in control. Take some magic in the face. Oh, there's a fork down there. Oh, where's my teammates? Oh, they're fighting. I got their hands full. Okay. I thought they were just watching. So we're getting our ass kicked. Anyone else? No, that's it. Okay. Oh, so another quick check on the map. It would tell us to really go over here again some more. I think, anyway. Like I said, we'll just activate all the works we can see. What is that? What is that thing over there? Hmm. I'm tempted. Looks like a, a jellyfish with a wizard hat on. Oh, this was the right way. Okay, if it's the right way, I don't want to know. Oh, but you can't get back over. Crud. And now we're soaked. All right, let's fight this magical fish, jellyfish rather. Is it called a stellar jelly? <laughs> I mean, brilliant name. It's not going to stop us from. Cutting you down though. Is it dead? I think it did. It jumps tremendously high. There you go, and then it explodes. Right, so maybe, if I only think this is just the, the star is here to tell us how to get back to where we were, rather than the actual way to go. Because there is a chest here for our rewards. Also, an incense, a strong, a sick sensor. Okay. Right, so where does that pass? Does it go down some more? No, it goes back up. Right. So we need to go up to go back down again. We're creating a, a twist and turn of water slides. I mean, I still enjoy the animation, but it could get a little bit boring. 
Ah, here we go. Okay, let's go on the right path then. Which is... Oh, it could be even further on. Make sure there's no more whelks that need puffing. Oh, there is. There's another puffing whelk here. God damn it, you puffer. Um, let's head down a bit then. So I know there's a pork down there that we could fight. Oh, look, there's a higgledy stone up there and a chest. So much to explore. Maybe not enough time. Or not enough incentive. I don't know. You can't jump down there. Okay. Oh, we've got a bright button. Someone dropped a button this deep in the, in the uh, abyss. And we've got some yarn there. Hello, folks. We're just here to kill you for sweet experience points. Sorry, your life isn't worth much more than that. Oh, that pork didn't like that. Oh, good dodge. I feel like I don't dodge a lot of anything in this game. Because so far we've been overleveled enough to take the punches. But it looks like they're all a little bit stronger down in the abyss. There we go. Let's finish this pork off. Oh, crap. No, we can use our purple higgledies. I think I might do that. Oh, I don't like what he's doing there. There we go. Thank God for purple higgledies. Spiky bones again. Alright. Ah, oh, so I'm confident... Oh God, the frames. Confident this isn't the way to go, which is good. Unless we can get in that hole. No? Okay, so maybe the purpose of that was just to meet the pork. Oh, unless... Unless this one puts you right up where we saw that chest. But I'd be surprised if it did, because that was a long surf. However, I think I'm right. Sweet! And the Higgledy Stone's there as well, which we haven't... We haven't got a Higgledy Stone correct in a long, long time. Never have the item. Where did I see the stones? Okay, the stone's down there. But it won't let me drop. Oh, you sneaky thing. Hang on a sec. Right. Can I just fall down there? Okay, cool. I was getting panics over nothing. We can, we can drop. So if I kick you open... Oh, nice. We've got some sandals. A pair of waterproof sea breeze sandals. Could that be good in our current um, situation? I really hope so. So, on my feet, we currently have hearty sea breeze. Oh, see, they look, they're going to be much better, aren't they? Yeah. But someone else could have the feet. Um, should we go for you? Clear boss's boots. I mean, they're a bit outdated now, so take these. And even Leander can get some new shoes. Take them twangy silk slippers off and put on the, put on the anti-tox silk slippers. I hate how this game is. Uh, I hate how this game is just full of tongue twisters. <laughs> I need to enunciate more. I need to do some vocal warm-ups before I start playing this. Before I start learning about tangy twisting sandal flip-flop sacks. And down here for the stone. Yeah. Okay. Right. What do you got? Or what do you want, rather? You want buttons? Yes, we have buttons. Wait, what did he say? Oh, no. Did he say bright buttons? Let's just hope he did. Or was it the just right button? Probably the just right one. Oh, yes. You like it. Good. Come with me, blue twiggy man. Higgledy. Yes. Okay, cool. Haddock the fishy. Nice. We haven't messed with our higgledies in a long time. I've kind of forgotten how the whole system works. <laughs> I'm really bad at this game. At least it's not too punishing, because there is a lot of systems to learn here. Reminds me a bit of Xenoblade, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. There's so much stuff. But the game is letting us move on forward, despite that. Okay, there we go. Cro look at this, all these streams. We're crossing streams here. It's a bit like Ghostbusters. We've come a long way, but it still looks like there's a way to go. Oh, no. Oh, God. Why do the frames hate me so much here? Okay, so that's the one it wants me to activate, I think. And that just goes over, across, yeah? It does. Then we can go round the back. And then there's loads of enemies to fight on the actual coral shelves as well. Oh, you go up. You go up really high. Why would you do that? I'm too tempted. No, this was just the way to where we've been, wasn't it? Ugh. If 
fine. All right, well, at least we've learned about it. Oh, wait, and you've respawned already. Okay. If you want to get killed again, it's fine by me. We'll take the experience. I want to get Evan to 34 as soon as possible. Take that. Come on, Leander, that's it. Get involved, dude. Don't you worry. Don't be shy. We've got a dozy Wolfram sword. Oh, Wolfram? I think it's Wolfram. I don't know. Might check out in a bit. It didn't look too good, though, just from the picture. Okay, so this is correct. And then let's drop down here, maybe? Okay, it's possible. And what happens if we go down here, then? Try and make a mental map in my head. And we found a chest, so was it completely not worth it? We've got an uptown egg. Uptown egg! You've been living in a something shell. Oh, we got a great sword. Let's have a look at this. Can't get Uptown Egg out of my head, though. Oh, look at that. 106. Oh, yeah. Um, let's go for it here. Okay. Now, when he's yoking, he's scrambling so fine. Oh, man. Uptown Egg. The feel good hit of the. Where are we now? Winter? Take my crowd control. Yes. More? We get another uptown egg? We've got a jar of Oasis Wonder Water. Okay. There we go. There's so many items you can just make references about. I'll try not to because they'll all probably fall flat. Uh, so if we move along here, is there a whelk to puff? I don't think there is. I'm not complaining. Yeah, I really feel like we haven't gone deep at all. And if that's anything to go by, there's a long way yet. Oh my god. we just got to keep it up. Got a coarse-grained lumber. How did you even end up down here? I mean, the egg, maybe. Maybe it wouldn't be called Uptown Egg, but it, maybe it's a fish egg. That's down here somehow. Sure, fishes lay eggs. They're entitled to, so maybe that's what we found. <gasps> Another Uptown Egg! It's my Uptown Egg! Don't you know I'm in love? Not an egg. <laughs> Don't be silly. Okay, more for you. Level 32. There you are. I thought I saw... Where's that Star Jelly gone? He made it clear. Oh, is he clicking his tentacles? What a lovely sound. Seriously, if this is the more calm setting, that would ASMR the crap out of me. Come on, clack it again. I say, clack it again. Why is he firing a laser now? This fish has got it all. One more. Go, go, go. Okay, he's down. Don't forget the puddle goo. He's nullified. Did we? Is that good or bad? Oh, wait, you can't take any damage. How do you do that, the sneaky thing? Well, I completely turned around. So that's our, our way to get back up. Fine. And then you can also go around here. I think I saw a chest to the left. Yeah, cool. I think ultimately we're going to have to head back um, to where the map marker is. I don't think this is any sort of shortcut or anything like that. But I still think it's worth doing. Especially if we keep getting these eggs. So I can sing in more off-key notes. Crappy improvised songs. Got a handful of shooting star salt, okay. Still not quite sure how to do all this stuff. <laughs> Does it help my kingdom somehow? Maybe. I mean, we should be getting loads of King's Guilders. We've been away from Evermore for a long time now. Right, it's this one. Take me over. Don't be scared, it's fine. I mean, you've surfed them streams like eight times now, and you still go. Like, I think I saw a save point down here as well. So we take out the goo and his friends. Yeah, look. Nice. Don't you dare charge up an awful attack. Come on. As we're fighting up here now, there's loads of things about. Now we're cutting down to size. Oh, it'd be cool if you could do a falling slashing attack there. That'll do just as well. I know a lot of them slashes didn't actually hit anything, but at least they look cool. I 
still think there's one left, isn't there? No. Right, so if we backtrack, what's in it for us then, game? So we're obviously steering on us to go this way. There's something hidden. There's another chest. I'm not too fussed about that. Unless there's some of the mushrooms that we can grow. Or oh, them three leaf clovers that turn into little helicopter things. That's right. Maybe I'll leave that chest. He can tell the other chests what happened here today. Turn on to beware of King Evan and his motley crew. We ravage any chest we see. I think I need to go up, don't I? Not here. I'm just looking for that stone. I'd love to save. We'd get the full health as well, but we are full health. Oh, Leander's not looking good. We have a pushover, old Leandy boy. Well, let's activate the trap, trip thing, trip door. There we go. Got there in the end. Yes, save the progress. Chapter 5. How many chapters are there, I wonder? I have no idea. Don't tell me. I don't want to spoil it for myself to know when I'm close to the end. But let's rub or puff this again. Oh, we've got another uptown egg. I nearly missed you. But we don't want to beat a dead horse. Or we don't want to whisk a cracked egg, maybe? I yeah. oh, see. This is ridiculous. We've been round here. Oh, yeah. In fact, we have been round here. Where do I go? Send me to go on that one again. Ooh. Could this be confusing? Maybe we've missed a puff somewhere. Yeah, we did. Right there. Whew, thank God. I was not prepared to be stuck then. Like 10 or 20 minutes. Sorry, we completely forgot to puff you on our way past. Take that. Right, down to the next level. And then we'll just do this while we pass it. Anything we pass will puff. I think that just gets us back up to the top though. Yeah, yeah, it does indeed. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about your majesty, Leander. Worry more about us here. Trying to get through this place alive. You again, making that lovely sound. Oh! charged me. Oh my god, he won't let up. Help me. Now he's firing lasers. Take that. You're a stellar thing. Oh my god, he's going really hard. Guys, help. Help me. I don't have to use a health item on that stupid thing. You'll help me, won't you, purple one? What's he doing? Yes, we got him. Now this freaking puddle goo wants to play games. You just magic him to death though, fine. Whew, that was a close one for a minute. No, no, health ain't great. I still think we can risk it. To the next encounter and hopefully the enemies will drop health. That's usually how we've been sustaining our health so far. Like, all game. Sapphire Hue Bloom, thank you. A Dark Saw Borax. Ooh, <laughs> Borax. It sounds like I said Borax. I did not. Uh, let me go over to you because I feel like your spears could be upgraded. Yeah, take that brittle one. And then use the soldier's one he was using there. There you go. Look at them floating spears. Nice. You're like, um, oh god, I'm going to get ridiculed here. You're like the blue dude out of Guns of the Galaxy. His little whistle. Bandu, whatever it is. <laughs> I'm terrible with calling up names on the spot, I swear. Okay, this one. Nice, easy work to puff. Alright, take us deep. Don't take us over. Take me deep, Welk. Oh, that's higher! It's higher than where we were. Oh my god, what a cavernous labyrinth of the abyss. I did see the Welk here. I think that's probably just to take us back somewhere. Well, we don't even have to watch it, do we? Just take its word for it. If that is to a secret area, I'm going to leave it. Don't want to do the whole going around the houses again. Oh wait, where the hell am I now? Okay, I'm thinking maybe we go up then. Go up to get forward? Maybe? Let's have a look here. What we found where we where the star's touching relatively easily, so... I thought we just go for it. What could be over there? That's another whelk over there. 
Ah, sod it. There's no enemies, so we're not missing out on XP. Ah, oh, look, and another save point. Good. I like this. Alright, let's go fight this pork. Oh no. Don't know if I am actually. I'm hoping we can level up in time. Dodge, dodge, Evan. Like your tiny life depends on it. Oh, that freaking Stella thing. He's ruining my life. Should I just heal? Stop being so proud. Oh god, yeah, okay, just heal. There you go. I was hoping if we could just kill him, we might be able to, um,. Level up and restore our health that way. Wasn't meant to be, that's fine. Okay, the pork is charging up. Jellyfish is not there. Oh, is the jellyfish also charging up? Oh, it's going absolutely crazy. At least now it's out. Oh, cool, Leander got a level up from that. That'll stop him. Can't see quite what's going on. I saw 1,700 damage being taken. Batu leveled up as well. Cool. Just in the sidelines now. He's been put aside by Leander. I hope there's not like some internal jealousy going on between them two. I think Batu would probably eat him alive. And that's good. 3,000 3, fathoms. <laughs> we are getting deeper. We've doubled our deepness since we arrived. And that goes back up. Okay, cool. There's another um, trip door down here. Or a save stone, rather. And a chest as well. It's good. I think we've made tons of progress in the 20 or so minutes we've been exploring the abyss. Uh, a copy of the songbook number 15. I don't know what they're for. Does it let me listen to in-game music at any point? Like the BGMs of the different areas we've been to? But I feel like this music is always constant when you're in like a hostile area. Right, that one should take us all the way to the bottom, he says. So I suppose, what are we waiting for? Save me progress. We'll probably find the queen down there doing something insidious. But it won't be her, the true queen. She's been corrupted. We've got to save her before we go in this chest. Another angel's tear. Nice. Okay, you ready to get puffed one last time? Do you want to take me down to the bottom? Oh, yeah, there, can't we just jump that? It looks like we're just landing in the water. Ooh. I was not expecting an Odin screen there. Wait, where did this come from? Your Majesty. <sighs> Leander with the clutch. Good job, dude. Your Majesty, it is I, Leander. Please! You must come to your senses! It is too late for that, I'm afraid. Your queen is gone. Henceforth she shall be my puppet. Nothing more. You will return her to me now! Tell me, why do you even care? Her people think little of her. She is powerless, weak, unloved. Hydropolis would be nothing without its queen. And why is that? Even were I inclined to tell you, you would not understand. <laughs> so be it. Then I would ask that you do as your queen did and surrender your feeble spirit to me. I surrender to none but her majesty. Leander. Is she coming around? This has gone on long enough. <gasps> Is this the Kingmaker? Is this Brian Skimmer? Really cool. Ugly but cool. Brain skimmer. Then the king's bomb truly is broken. You heard the man, Evan. 
No king's bun, meaning we've got ourselves a kingmaker to club at. Oh, it's like a merman lizard with gills and fangs. And now we're gonna fight him? Okay. Wave Breaker Kingmaker. We've got to look at the apps on him. Level 42. He's no joke. Come down to our level, dude. I think once we can get on the ground, we'll be able to cut him up quite nicely. It'll be sushi in no time. Weak spots ahoy. Hit where it hurts. Where are the weak spots? Oh, there. His arms. His big, beautiful arms. Okay, so someone already did that. How about the other one? Come on, get that arm. Whoa! <laughs> Could let the Higgledies do it, maybe. Oh, we got it. Yes. We'll go for that lovely face. One only a mother could love, I think, actually. Come on, there we go. Oh, look at this. Kicking his ass. Is he going to fall again? Uh oh, I think we just made him mad. Wait, did he just get full health again? Higmakers, what are they again? Get a bunch of them. No help for certain. Okay. Higmakers, come here with me. The pi Piper of Higmakers. Do I break this stuff? Probably. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, okay. Do they just fire on their own? Oh, I think they do. Sweet. This is awesome. Go for his face, maybe. Oh, crap. Took a bit of damage, but it's all good. This is amazing. I'm really enjoying this. I wish we could have this higgledy thing all the time. Right, he's got weak spots on his arms again. And on his chest. Oh, and the fin. Don't forget the fin. Right, is that it, though? Seems like they've disappeared. Let's use you. Don't know how we're going to get that chest now. Oh, look, there's another one. Go, go. I'm not even watching my health, but it's fine. Yes. I might have to heal soon. Which is totally, totally cool with me. In fact, let's just do it now. Uh, yeah, on you. Right, come on, get around to his face, quick. Why is, why is everyone else not helping? Don't stop, don't stop. Oh, this crap again. Get him out of this ice phase. It's the same with the last Kingmaker fight we did. The, it really starts quickly. And then, like, the last third of his health is really slow. Right, okay, we just hide. Yes, this is what we want, these blue ones. He's disappeared. Of course he would dive just when we needed him. Nice, we've done it again. Oh my god, is he going to land on me? Both of them weak spots. We've got to lead the shots, I think. Good stuff, good stuff. There we go, there's only one left again. Oh, there it is on his tail. Right, surely we've got him now. He's going to drop. This has been such a cool fight. I really love it. Come on, everyone get involved. Put in you, Roland. And now maybe it's going to take one more then. No problem, I just need a uh, turret higgledy, a hig pig, or something they call them, right? We'll use you for now. I, I can't see another hig pig anywhere, can you? No, actually, I, worryingly, I can't. 
So how's this gonna work? Oh, you break them open. Okay, cool. They do come from the icicles. Go on, who's gonna be our friend? Oh, they're over there. Go, go, go. Oh, we've got such a big group of them. No, nope. yes, finally. <laughs> come on, come on, before they disappear. Right, because there's more of them, does this mean the damage is going to be way more? No, it doesn't seem to be the case. But our shots are all lying up. Don't you dare dive. Okay, cool. Get the fins, get the chest, whatever it needs to be done. There we go, we got this. Yes, yes. Oh, nice. This will be the final blow, I think, because that health is not a lot for old Brian Skimmer. Wait, where is it? <laughs> there he is. Let's go. Finish him, finish him. <laughs> Even peak physical health couldn't stop you from getting beat by a kid king. Your Majesty, you're not hurt in any way. Hmm. I'm fine, Leander. Cease your fussing. <laughs> not one, but two kingmakers have now fallen at your hand? Impressive. But it matters little. I have what I came for. Until we meet again. What is his deal with that DeLorean? DeLorean, not DeLorean. He's not a freaking car. But caught out such a nice fight. I really enjoyed the Kingmaker fight, so I look forward to them. Hopefully it will happen in every region. Hey. Your loyalty to the Queen really is something, Leander. Of course. It is no more than she deserves. Without her, our nation would be nothing. Uh -huh. So you keep saying. But what do you mean by that exactly? Very well. Perhaps it is time that you knew the truth. The palace in which you now stand was destroyed some 300 years ago, along with the rest of Hydropolis. What? A great undersea volcano erupted, taking our nation and all its people with it. You saw the ruins in Lucifer's Labyrinth. These two were once inhabited by our people. Our kingdom's continued existence is thanks solely to the Queen Neria's intervention. It is her gaze that protects us, her magic channeled through the great watchful power of the eye that turns back time to save us again and again. No way. Were it not for the Queen Neria and the eye, we would have faded into obscurity long ago. But there is one great problem with this method of survival. If the number of living souls in Hydropolis were to change, the great enchantment that Her Majesty has woven would no longer hold. Hmm. So that's what all the laws are about. One more life, one or one less, and it all come tumbling down, eh? The Queen has maintained her vigil for three centuries, never knowing a moment's sleep. You too would be short of temper. You too would vent your frustrations on those around you. But all that she has done, she has done for us. All that she has sacrificed, she sacrificed for her beloved subjects. How? Oh. Leander, you... you knew. Oh. Your Majesty, you're unharmed, I hope. You did. You knew all along. Yes. And so I vowed to serve you, no matter what. Mm. I see. But the cracks are beginning to show at last. I feel that like Hydropolis does not have long. Yes. Indeed. And that is why we what? <laughs> it is? Oh, stop skipping the text. Do you remember, Leander, the promise we made to another as children? Of course. I do, Your Majesty. One 
day, Leander. One day, we will marry, and you will be my king. We will rule together. Promise me. No way. Is that really her? It sounds like she's friend zoned him since then. I promise. I promise that I will marry you. That I will always protect you. That I will never leave your side. Do you swear it? On your life? I do, your majesty. I do. Holy Ander. I love you. Whoa! How sweet. How could I forget? It is my most cherished memory, and the reason I gave my life to you in service. But that was not what I asked of you. I asked that you become my husband, my king. But the law of Hydropolis forbids it. I could not become king. I cannot. Do not pretend, Leander. You know. You know better than any man of this realm. Whosoever possesses the ether possesses the right to rule. It was the first king of Hydropolis who brought it back with him, and with it claimed his crown. But surely one such as I cannot... Who better? Who else has guarded this realm more vigilantly? Oh, me? I took down Cetus and the, uh, the Brian Skimmer? Leander kind of only really helped. I took the lead in both of them fights. Cared for it more faithfully. Yeah, okay, he wins that one. As queen, I can accept no other. You must marry me. I command you. But your majesty, I cannot. Why? For the sake of the kingdom? The hallowed realm over which we have watched for so long? If we are joined in marriage, then all must end. Time cannot repeat itself. Hydropolis must fade. Yes. And I cannot allow that to happen. Let go, Leander. This realm may fade, but another will soon blossom in its place. New life. A new kingdom. <coughs> a new kingdom, you say? It should have happened long ago. But I could not let it. I had to have one last day by your side. Again and again. Your Majesty. But it is time at last. I am ready, Leander. The wheel must turn again for Hydropolis. And if it brings our destruction, then so be it. It also brings truth. Your mind is made up then? It is. So come, take your place by my side. Be my husband. My king. I will. Cool. Awesome. So Hydropolis is going to fade away because it was meant to have been destroyed long ago. Interesting. <laughs> the preparations for our union will begin at once. But you need not remain to oversee them. I hereby release you from your duties. You are free. Yeah, you're free until you get married and then you're enslaved again. These travellers have need of your aid. Go with them. Forget the concerns of our kingdom for a time. Truly? Truly. Thank you, your majesty. Yeah! <laughs> nice. One last foray of single life before you're entrapped forever in a marriage. But I'm sure you want to be in the marriage, right? We get that from you. Cool. So where do you want to go for your stag? Evermore? Not really much to do there. Maybe we'll go to... Oh, maybe the Sky Pirates can give you a good send-off. Thank you. You have done much to aid us. My word is my bond. Your pact shall be signed. Speak with me when you're ready to proceed with the formalities. Well, awesome. That went great. Thank you, Queen Nero. You seem okay. And Leander, you can stick around, I guess. I don't know if I'll rock you in our party, though. But... Cool, what a great episode. Um, the boss fight was amazing. I really enjoyed it. And the story about Hydropolis was surprising. I didn't see that coming. So if you enjoyed this episode of Nino Kuni 2, please go ahead and leave a like. It helps out a great deal, and I really do appreciate it, so thank you. If you want to see more, we will get this uh, union signed with Hydropolis, and then we'll move on to the next place. Please go ahead and subscribe, and I can bring it all to you. Got any questions you want to raise? What did you think of the Brian Skimmer fight? What do you think of their love story? Let me know in the comments below, and I will make sure I get back to you. Alright, see you!